Hello friends. Today we'll talk about farming. The traditional and modern farming. So, farming or kheti. The moment we talk about farming, the first thing comes in our mind and is something related to, to crop grown in soil. So majorly people correlate farming with crop, soil, moisture or maybe some technical skill. Yeah, absolutely right. If we talk about the traditional farming, that is, that is the most important thing which is required for doing farming. In farming, one has to manage above ground part, the shoot and the below ground part, the root. However, with the advancement of agriculture, there are technology where soil is not at all required. On one hand, the soil, which is something deteriorating due to the excessive use of chemical, pesticide and intensive agriculture. On another hand, there is something like uh, encroachment of agriculture land by infrastructure development, which force us to think doing farming without using uh, soil or we have to have higher productivity or higher unit area return and that is possible under hydroponics one of the technology which is recently developed and adopted in india though i should not say that recently developed it, it is de means invented long back but uh, past decade this technology is now taking a shape of commercialization so western countries are doing a good in hydroponics and in india also people are trying to uh, introduce and leverage this technology for a commercial venture in agriculture hydroponics so what is hydroponics hydroponics is not a wonder hydroponics is not a something like a magic Hydroponic is a, a system of crop production where we don't require soil and which enable us to eliminate all those factors which is beyond our control. Factors are the soil factor, climatic factor and crop factors. Just to simplify this, if I want to give you an example, like we are the normal uh, population or normal human being living in a society so like politicians intervention in our life is such that we know that it is not good for me or for the society but we fail to do anything against these 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 politicians and we feel helpless similarly in in soil which is a dynamic body dynamic leaving body there are a number of a factor which we cannot control and because of that the productivity and the quality of produce is not as per our expectation and uh, as per our desire productivity is the outcome of physical biological and chemical process inside so hydroponics while eliminating use of a soil is giving you a weapon where you can control everything as per your your plan and as per your 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 uh, requirement say for example if i, I take a only nutrition part whatever we supply in soil as a plant nutrition or a fertilizer it 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 just something like uh, go through a different set of a reaction and some of them is fixed and which become a un, non, not available for the crop growth like take example of a phosphorus 10 to 15 percent uh, of applied nutrient is available for the, the the crop of that season or that cycle rest is fixed in in soil for a longer duration but in case of a hydroponics we need to feed what the crop requirement is and in a close uh, 
hydroponic system there are two type of hydroponic system one is the open bear where the excess leach water is is drained out whereas in closed system the excess leached water having some of the left nutrient is going to be recycled and the same is, is with the adjustment of a e electrical conductivity and a pH again we are going to use the same nutrient so this hydroponic system is one of the most efficient and precise system of a crop production the major uh, difference between a traditional farming as well as the hydroponics is hydroponics is creating better microclimate around the root zone it is providing uh, uh, something like whenever there is a need for a water plenty of water is available plenty of air is available and sufficient nutrient is available it depends on a crop whenever there is a need crop can absorb and can grow and if we can make our our root healthy by any means by by using a hydroponics or using using some hormones or by doing some cultural practices it is definitely the crop is the crop health is going to increase and if the crop health is increased then definitely the crop is going to perform better and the better productivity if we are going to get a better productivity under hydroponic production system there are uh, evidence that in many cases the productivity increased by 10 times but yes i want to caution here this is the technology which needs calibration as per the environment requirement or the climatic requirement it is not a technology which simply you can copy and paste you can copy from a developed country and you can paste in india you need to calibrate and if we talk about hydroponic uh, literature availability on growing targeted crop in indian condition there's scarcity of those those literature so the option left is learn while doing So that's the only option left uh, for, for calibrating your hydroponic technology according to your, your, uh, my, your climatic condition. And yes, that required very high degree of skills. A professional working for hydroponics, he need to talk, talk to their, their plant, understand their, their plant requirement and they, they, he, he can uh, identify what is what is something like a deficient what is the crop asking for so with, with that kind of a skill set a hydroponic production system is going to be a successful production system and that is the the, the missing link of hydroponic uh, production system in India as well as in northern India and because of that most of the hydroponic commercial project because the people people have money they can invest for creating a uh, infrastructure but create means they cannot create the required skill set so because of that most of the project in hydroponic are struggling in india so there is a need for developing a skilled resource sharing the knowledge because those who are, who are doing good hydroponics they are not ready to share their knowledge with anybody else in in in, in neighboring or in any other part of a country so there's a need for for creating that that uh, uh, knowledge as well as bring developing a platform where people can get these type of a knowledge so yeah let's 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 something create that that knowledge base with that consideration i want to just develop a series of a video which can help you for developing hydroponics small or a pilot unit or small research unit at your farm so see you in the next video with some more information and knowledge on hydroponics thank you